Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on the volume of prisms. So, let's begin with our first question. Find the volume of this prism. Well, a prism is just a shape which has the same area all the way through. So, if I want to find the volume of this cuboid, I need to use this formula. Volume equals the area times how far back it goes. Volume equals A times L. Well, if we say that this front face here is the area, then we just need to work that out. So the area is, well, this is 4 across and 3 up. So it's 4 times 3, which is 12. So the volume equals 12 times how far back the shape goes. Well, the shape goes 5 back. 12 times 5, which is 60. We have to put our units for the extra mark. This is in centimetres, and because it's volume, it's centimetres cubed. So it's quite simple to find the volume of a shape. All we need to know is volume equals area times length. Just work out the area of the front face and times it by how far back it goes. Let's have a go at another prism. So find the volume of this prism. This time we have a triangular prism. So same formula, volume equals area times length, and this time the area is this front face. However, the area this time is a triangle. So to tr find the area of a triangle, we're just going to do the two, the base and the height. So it's 4 times 5, base times height, but we're going to divide that by 2, because it's a triangle. Well, 4 times 5 is 20, but divide it by 2 will give us an area of 10. So the volume equals 10 times how far back the shape goes. And you can see the shape goes 10 back. So it's 10 times 10, which will give us the answer of 100 centimetres cubed. So as you can see, volume is a very easy thing to do in an exam. You just have to remember this formula, which you can normally find on the front of an exam paper. Here's a couple of questions for you to have a go at. Good luck.